Hi guys, I thought quickly I'd jump on today and share with you, um, continuing my Canva training series, share with you how I make a quick um, YouTube thumbnail, which is also going to be the cover image for my a video. So when I put a video into my editing software, I then put a cover image on the front of the video so that when people play the video, they get my normal standard intro, then they get the little cover so they know what's coming up next which is a graphic, and then they'll get the video. So as you can see here, this is one that I've already created. And I want to show you what it looks like. So this is for a previous Canva training. So I started this because um, I started this from a template. So I'm going to show you um, by going back here. So it's just another browser. Don't don't worry. Um, is go into it's a presentation. Now I found that um, there's two different types of presentation there and whilst you might think that's a good one for, um, for for most video it's not wide enough. So I go into this one so all I did is I went into this one which is a 16 by 9 one which is like a widescreen and then I just scrolled down the side here and I thought well which ones do I like the look of? and um, some are free and some are paid for and I like the look of this one and at the moment that's saying paid for but on my Canva for business it's giving me all the paid ones for free at the moment for some reason so I'll use this but you could use any free one it wouldn't matter um, and all I did was literally just decided okay I want to um, change that so I did um, I changed this text as you can see I'll show you the original in a minute just highlighted it highlighted that one um, changed it I think I got rid of that so I just dragged that off I moved this up just by clicking on it and I changed this text as well and then I the you can see these images are just triangles and they're frames so what that means is a picture will if you drag a picture over there it will disappear into that frame so I then went to um, elements and I went to photos and I think I went to social media because that's um, it was about social media graphics and you click you can pick all photos or illustrations now illustrations won't work because you're trying to drag an illustration over something that's not the same format so you need to go into the photos bit and you need to think okay um, okay maybe I want that one so you can if you drag it over the triangle you see how it disappears in there and then you can this is just for illustration purposes you can drag that over you can think okay maybe I want that one maybe I don't but it's quite cool when it's just a hand and maybe I'll stick that one so you can't see that so that's not a very good example there oh. um, mm, we'll just keep going until we find one that looks right and that could that could work, couldn't it? So then you can see you can just move if you want to fractionally make sure it looks right. So that's I mean you could pick better images. So you can add any extra text you want to in here, um, just by ma making the dot appear and then being able to type in. But I'm just going to show you what this turned into when obviously I did it for the uh, video. So there you go. So I just changed that. I dropped in some images of people looking like they're on social media. The Canva bit will disappear when I save it. And then I literally just put that as a slide in the in the big you know in front of my video when I've edited it and save it to upload it to YouTube. And then save that as the thumbnail for YouTube because I think that's quite eye catching. So that's how I create um, a slide sort of description for a video and um, which also can then um, you know also be used as a thumbnail on YouTube. I hope that's been helpful.